Hey guys, this is Renee from iTeach Blogging, and in today's video, I'm just going to show you real quick how to create a checklist using Google Documents. All right, so I'm in my Google Drive, so you go to drive.google.com, and you click on New, and you say Google Doc. Let me just show you what I'm trying to create. Something that looks like this right here, okay? So it's just a simple little checklist that you can use for a content upgrade, which is what I'm using it for. I mean, you could use it for whatever you want, but um, I'm doing this to create a content upgrade for my blog. So I'm going to go to table, insert table, and then I am going to start with just a little uh, three rows, just a few. I'm going to, now if I put my mouse, hopefully you can see this, between the two lines, I can pull one over this way and then I can pull one over this way. What I'm doing is making the center really big, and now I'm gonna put the number one in here, and then I am going to highlight that one and change it to a bigger piece of text. So we'll just say 24, and here I'm gonna say this is your first point, okay? So pretty simple, and then over here I wanna put a checkbox. So I just put my mouse in that box, and then I come over to, oh, more, and then click on the bullet list, and I'm going to select that one. Now it's a bit small, so put my mouse back over here, I'm gonna tab back over, and I'm going to change the text size to 24. You see how that's bigger, right? All right. I'm also going to change the text size, this is just you know personal choice, of this first bullet point here, and then I'm gonna to go to the second line and I'm gonna do bullet points. I'm gonna say sub point one, sub point two, sub point three. So if you're creating a checklist for your content upgrade, you usually wanna tell them what the first step is. You might say instead of first point, you might say first step, right? Whatever your first step is. So. There you go. And then any sub bullet points, you wanna make this really valuable. So go ahead and give them some sub steps or sub points of why they wanna do this. Whatever it is that you think your content upgrade should be. All right. So then I'm just going to copy this, these two roll, rows by highlighting them with my mouse and then I'm gonna hit Command C and put my mouse right there and Command V. Then I'll change this to number two. Now. If you notice, I'm running out of rows, no problem. I put my mouse right here. I'm just gonna tab over and I keep tabbing. And it's gonna keep adding rows. Just hitting that tab key on my keyboard. So I could highlight these three things, paste that in there. And then I would change that to three, to four. And if I wanted five points on my content upgrade, just put my mouse in there, tab a few more times. There we go. Co copy one more. All right. Now let's say that I only want five. And I have two extra rows, no problem. Put your mouse in the row, right click, delete row. Mouse, right click, delete row. As you can see, this is a really simple way. And when this is printed out, this would be really nice. Now you probably want a title. So I've put my mouse back up above the um, table and go, this is your title. You will love this. That's kind of small. So I'm gonna highlight that text. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna make it, let's see what 24 looks good. Ah, oh, look at that. I capitalized my O, whoops. Maybe I want something smaller here. This is brought to you by iteachblogging.com. I'm going to highlight my hyperlink up here. I'm gonna cl click on insert link. I'm gonna hit apply. This is too big because I want this to be a sub. So I'm gonna come highlight it again, change my font size to 12. 
and voila, I have a nice little content upgrade. The thing about content upgrades, you can get super fancy with them, but really what matters is that you provide people with a sp some specific task, a short, simple win. You don't wanna make a 50 point checklist and expect people to be happy. You wanna give them a checklist on something that they can go do right now and that they can feel like, man, I was successful. I teach blogging made me successful with this thing. So I wanna go back and see what else they can do to help me become successful. That's why a checklist is far better than an ebook for a content upgrade. All right, guys, I hope that this helped. Blog on.